So that was Beauty by Drew Hill in the key of E flat major, and we'll get started. So the first notes that we're going to be playing are uh, fairly simple, straight seventh chords, but I'll break down the uh, transitions for you today. So the first melody that we hear is a simple uh, diminished, I'm sorry, a simple E flat major seventh chord, but it is under the final inversion. So we're going to have uh, D, E flat, and B flat. And you're going to play an octave lower. D, E flat, B, D, E flat, and B flat. And the following accompanying chords are going to be uh, found throughout most of the song. The only change up is going to be part of the introduction and the bridge. Uh, but the bridge follows pretty familiar chords that we're already playing in the uh, verse section in the chorus. So once again, D flat, E flat, and B flat. D, E flat, and B flat. And you play that in a uh, quick succession. Uh, succession one, succession two. Now, the next chord we're going to be playing is essentially C minor 7th chord, but it, it is <clears throat> under another inversion. So it's an inverted C minor 7th chord, which is G, B flat, C, and E flat. And the next chord is going to be A flat or F minor 7th twice. F minor 7 is F, A flat, C, and E flat. I'm going to play that twice. Next is G major, G, B, D, and then C major. So the chords from the top, C minor 7th inverted, root position F minor, F minor again, G major, and C major. So now when we add in the left accompanying bass notes, it's going to follow pretty much the same particular pattern. C, B flat, F. F again, G, and B. So the bass notes are going to be simply, simply C, B flat, and F. F, G, C. F, G, C. Those are the variations. So both hands together, we're going to have simply C, B flat, F minor, 7th, F minor, 7th, G major, and C major under a uh, final version, which is going to be G, C, E. One more time. C minor, B flat, F minor, F minor, G major, and C. And that little pickup note that you hear is the bass line to go back into the main riff. So it's going to be B flat and C. And that's the <clears throat> most of the song right there. So now we're going to go into the little riff at the beginning of the song, uh, which you hear uh, is kind of a dissonant effect, but uh, I'll explain that more in, in depth later. Now the riff section it's going to follow the same bass hand and left hand, or the bass notes that you already learned. C, B flat, and F. F, G, C. Now the melody is simply going to be F and D for the first section. I'm going to play F and D twice. Next is G and E flat. And then the next note after that is going to be B flat major inverted uh, under the second inversion, F, B flat, and D. And then back to the main melody of F minor, G, and C. So the melody, without doing the left hand, is 
slowly. One more time. Okay, now we're going to add in the left hand, and this is the same pattern that you hear. You're going to come in a little bit later in the right hand with the uh, melody, and the bass will fall a little bit uh, as well. So on the second beat of the F uh, or F and D, you're going to add in the C note. And then when you hit the bass note on the B flat of B flat, you're going to hit the B flat right here, or the uh, yes, the B flat inverted chord right here, which is F B flat and D. And then you walk down to back to the F minor root, and you play that again, and then back to G major and C. Now one more time. time a little bit slowly So that is the little melody riff that you hear uh, after the introductory notes, which you hear of uh, the E flat major inverted that I told you about earlier. So now that we've done the chorus, or and done the verse section practically with the uh, seventh chords that we learned earlier, now we're going over to the bridge section, which is pretty straightforward. And I'll play that at regular speed. We'll go over the riff one more time for both. Uh, the intro and the slight melodic change that you hear of uh, the F and B flat major chords. So we're going over to the bridge next.